Hi everyone! Right, I am back. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make these. Now, I've been, I've been making these for a long while. Um, and I do sell them, so why am I showing you how to make them? Well, why not? For those who want to make them will know how to make them. For those who can't make them or don't want to make them will be able to buy them. I do sell them in the store. But uh, they're so easy to make, it's uh, silly, really. So what I'm going to show you is this. You need... I just use a little bit of um, non-stick matting. And this is a baking sheet. And that's all I use. You need some of these... Um, Stamen. Now, you can use whatever colour you want. Some of these are mixed. Uh, this is that was a bought one, and this is a handmade one, um, like that. And that's also a handmade one, and they're just as good. You can use lots of different coloured uh, rose, rolled roses, or you can just use the plain, you know, plain colour, whichever suits you. So right now, oh, you need a little bit of uh, this beading as well, and it's just a small amount. Take your bit of ribbon and make yourself a little bow. And that way you can have these as big or as small as you want. And then what you do is you pop that onto the glue. Pulling the strands down. Right, you just want to pull that one in a little bit. There you go. That's fine. Don't worry about the length of these. I'll leave these long because I want to put them as long as I want them. Take your stamen and fold them in half. And I take three or four at once, depending on the size of the stamen. And pop that onto your ribbon. Keeping them in like a cluster. Oops. You do get covered in glue, but don't, you know, don't worry about it. Take your bead, and of course, that has to go around. So we just pop that on. And I try and pull mine in so that it's in between the ribbon. It's just easier. And it looks nicer, because some of them, when you buy them, the ribbons, you know, the uh, beads all over the place. Then what you do is, you take your flowers. Well, I'm just going to use three pink. Um pop one at the top just there and then two at the bottom and we just pop one in there tuck it in and then another one on this side of that just squash them in together and then trim off the ribbon where you want it. You actually, you know, if you can measure your ribbon out, it's easy. I'm just showing you how to do this. And then while it's still glued onto there, because nothing's going to go anywhere, I just take my lighter, and we do have these in the store, and just seal that off. And that won't fray or anything like that. And then when it's done, you just peel it off the back. And there you go. You can shorten or lengthen these, whatever you want to do with them. I'm just going to shorten mine a little bit. Never waste those. Put them in a pot. And there you go. You've got your own little embellishment. And if it's not quite glued down to your liking, glue it down. Um, Far better than buying them to be honest but like I say not everybody wants to make a lot of people just like to buy and it's easier and quicker for them to do so but if you do want to make them hey ho there you go make your own and uh, they are so much it's so easy to do like I say that's a bought one when you can get the glue strands off them they're handmade Okay, shop bought. Handmade. And if you look, I think they're neater. 